Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Raju from Smart AI Technologies. Today I am going to show you a demonstration of a project called Blood Cancer Detection using Deep Learning. Before moving further, first we need to understand why this project is so much important and why we need to work on blood cancer project. So the first of all the problem is that blood cancer is a such a problem where if it reaches to some level that is pre and pro, it is highly highly impossible to cure it to the base so that much hard it is so what if we can able to detect it as the, uh, in the early stages and if we can detect it with cost uh, efficient way cost efficient way because uh, the problem with this medical related issue is that always they are very costly so many people can't afford all the present technologies there are all uh, there are some big uh, tools and technologies using which a uh, larger larger uh, size tools okay using which you can identify but always uh, everyone can't afford that much that's why what if we can able to have a efficient way to get proper results okay so that is the that is the idea behind this project now you we are taking a base paper for this that is from IEEE that you can see here it says blood cancer identification using hybrid ensemble deep learning techniques so now we are going to take this as a base paper and then we are going to propose our own methodologies which are better than the present existing system of this paper and we will be discussing each concept how our uh, proposed methodology is better than the existing one and also if this paper is getting 95 percent accuracy we are already getting more than that we are uh, we are getting more than 99 percent and uh, we are getting around 99.88 percent of accuracy for our models so our models are already giving good results so how our model are overtaking the present paper what are the different things that we are doing better than the present paper so all these things we'll discuss then we are going to see the demonstration of that project we are going to see the demonstration of this project where we implemented it as a front end and back end we used uh, html css javascript for the front end and flask for, for the back end so in the end we are going to see the project demonstration but before that in detail we will understand how uh, we proposed our model and what is the importance of that uh, proposed systems and how they will be better and what they are doing all those things okay the first part is that this paper is built on a data set which contains only two classes whether uh, it is having a blood cancer or not so the people are using that data set with the two classes now when it comes to us we are using a data set which contains four classes that you can see here so our data center uh, data set contains four different classes benign early pre and pro pro is the last stage of that so now that is about the data set first of all we selected the better data set than the existing in the paper now in this paper we need to first check the methodology what methodology they are using because methodology is the most important part of any project that is how we are doing how we are following the path what are the different techniques that we are using whether it may be model building maybe it is under pre-processing maybe it is under cleaning maybe it is under uh, analysis so how we are doing better so those things we need to discuss so for that uh, the first part they are mentioning like they are using uh, they are going with mixed uh, neural networks as well as cnns and they say uh, they are using uh, hybridized models that is voting system so what are they actually first of all these cnns uh, convolution neural networks as you know now especially voting system okay when it comes to this voting system and they will be training multiple models for example uh, if you train only one model let us take deep uh, decision tree now if you take a decision tree and if it says if it is uh, if the given 
cancer image is leukemia the other uh, that is it is a blood cancer image now you will not be having any choice you, you should accept it is a blood cancer but what if you train multiple models this is entry random forest svm knn like that if you train multiple models and you take the result from all of them and you take the voting how many of them are giving it is a blood cancer how many of them are giving non blood cancer so if the voting goes four are giving uh, cancer and two are giving non cancer it means it is cancerous it means the more votes will be taken okay the whatever the how many models are giving uh, the cancer if they are more then it will be cancer if uh, more number of models are giving non cancer then it will be non cancer so that is the concept behind this and also when it comes to pre processing okay they collected data set with the two classes and when it comes to pre processing uh, they are using uh, basic technologies actually we call them as an augmentation techniques so you can see here it is zooming okay sharing flipping and rescaling so these techniques are there now now we are going to see what are augmentation and what are different type of augmentations are there and why we need augmentation all those things we'll see one by one okay first of all what is augmentation and what is the need of that and why that paper is using augmentation techniques first of all for example uh, you take there is a small boy here okay. now you have an apple with you one fruit with you now what you do you have 100 apples and you will show him from this side only and you want to train him about apple because you don't know what is that apple and all those things you want to train him about apple you do like you will show him only one angle you train 100 apples now what you do do you uh, you want to test him now you will tilt that apple like this and you will ask him what is this fruit from his angle he can't able to predict what is that because in his uh, process in the entire process he is being taught only the one side of that okay it is not changed what if he gets some changed uh, view he may not answer properly so this is the issue so during augmentation what will happen is if we have a original image now that original image we are going to make some variation within it we may change the rotation we may change the shifting we may change the scaling we may change the uh, we may apply searing we may up, no, flip it we may crop it we may pad it so we may do any of these things and what are they and how they transform the images we will be seeing with the code I, I can i will be showing you that part of code to you and how the results will be all those things i will be showing now and and uh, this is augmentation and also augmentation is used for some other process that is for example let us say with us uh, we have few number of uh, images for each class maybe benign pre pro and early stages maybe let us say we have 100 100 images for each different classes that is data set as i shown you the data set now you have 100 100 images in the deep learning uh, normally when you have more number of images you will be getting better results the model will train better you will be getting better accuracy you will be getting better classification results that is fm score recall score okay precision scores now if you have 100 100 images it will be very less now you need to uh, increase the image set you need to increase the data set size so for that what you going to do how to increase it so there comes the use of augmentation so augmentation is uh, used uh, for two purposes so now here with augmentation what i will do is i will take one image from 100 for one image i am going to generate multiple images i will be showing you the code demonstration and uh, how it will work also so maybe I rotate and I will generate another image. I will shift and I will generate another image. I will increase the brightness and I will generate another image. In the in the existing paper, they are presenting actually two to three techniques. But there are so many ways to do it. So that you can see here in the code. 
now this is a code and uh, you see this is a original image so which is having actually a uh, number of cells mainly the darker cells you can see okay uh, there are four of them actually uh, center to left one a uh, right two now i am going to apply different techniques on it the first technique is horizontal flip so when you see horizontal flip when i do the the uh, the image is flipped uh, right to left left to right so actually the uh, the the two cells here in the right side they will move to left side because flip is happened so this is a new image so if i have a 100 image for each one image i create a new horizontal flip image it will become 200 then random brightness generation you see here horizontal flip and the difference between these two the here the brightness is being increased even brightness can decrease increase you can control you have you will be having control over those process so you will be getting again two images for each image now it will be more images now original 100 plus 100 100 so 300 images for each class now you rotate you will get again you see during the rotation uh, the two are now moved downwards the tilt is happened towards right optical distortion some distortions are being done so you will see uh, there is a distortion in intensity and the brightness of the image and you are going to uh, insert some noise within that image noise nothing but some dots okay some dots gaussian noise nothing but some dot like things will be added to the existing image and blurring uh, can be one of the best augmentation technique and cut out uh, adding some uh, dots on that image now finally you can have mixed augmentation you, you can mix all of them and create one more image actually this is preferred more mixed augmentation is preferred more because the variation will be very high and also in deep learning there is a concept if you have more variation in the images the model will train better the model will learn better for example what does that mean i will tell you for example if you have two fruits which look similar maybe apple and uh, another uh, fruit you can take which is almost similar to apple in that case you want to add some variation within them maybe you may cut skin of them maybe the inside color will be different maybe you press them okay maybe some uh, so, uh, one fruit is smooth and one fruit fruit is hard so like this okay so how we test that so when we try to initiate some variation in the given images we are making that data set more differentiated so when you do that more differentiated data set it will always leads to the better accuracy so that is a purpose and the process of augmentation that existing system is working on only few augmentation techniques but we are trying to go with singular augmentation technique as well as the mixer augmentation techniques so we expect some good result from our process rather than the existing system and you can see their uh, accuracies and loss graphs okay they are getting around 95 percent or like that and when it comes to the models actually the present existing paper is using uh, mnns and cnns which are basic uh, algorithms and they are even try to go with hybridized model but in our case what we are concentrating mainly on is transfer learning techniques so before moving uh, for the models we discuss uh, most important stuff so what that uh, paper is missing okay after discussing uh, these concepts we will go for the models okay now the most important stuff is this image pre-processing which that paper lacks it is not speaking anything about these things these techniques which are more useful and which are most important to get a better result okay only they are uh, talking about the augmentation and also the limited process now we are going with multiple filters each filter each filter we call that as a filter but it is nothing but a function or the function which manipulates our image okay. uh, we use them to make a better differentiation between the different class images so among them are noise reduction uh, techniques 
contrast enhancement techniques, edge detection techniques, image smoothing, shortening techniques, and uh, morphological operations, erosion dilation, and how they will work and how they will lead to good result. We will understand now also. Normalization technique and some uh, extra filters. Now, first we will go with noise reduction techniques, and there is no fixed rule, like you should use all of them. You can use best one one among them. So now what we are going to do is we are going to use one among them. Okay, first we are going to demonstrate few filters, but in the implementation of the code, you can use one one filter among each type of technique. Any one one technique, any one one uh, type of filter you can use. You don't need to use multiple filters uh, for a same technique. Okay, so now what we are going to do is we'll check them how they are going to give us a result uh, through the coding we will implement it on a single image and we'll see the first part is in noise reduction type of technique how gaussian filter will give us the result so here you can see uh, actually we convert that into grayscale because there are so many filters which will uh, work on grayscale images better so now we are going to take the original color image and we are going to convert it into grayscale so this is our original image now when you apply gaussian filter you see it's indirectly doing a uh, blur okay it will implement it will uh, add like a noise like stuff so that noise will just uh, blur the background images which are not concentrated much con not much concentrated it will blur but which are more concentrated that will be made highlighted so gaussian filter work like this so by doing gaussian filter you are highlighting the cancerous cells the main uh, cells which leads to cancer or blood cancer or leukemia they will be highlighted so this highlighting of the region of interest will always leads to better better result and the second filter is actually the median filter as you can see in the list the second filter is actually the median filter so we are implementing it in the code but when you integrate it into the models you can use one among them you don't need to use all of them okay and uh, median filter gaussian and bilateral almost they work similar it means they want to blur the uh, stuff and they want to highlight the region of interest so when you see bilateral almost uh, region of uh, main uh, most important regions as well as the background uh, images all of them are getting blurred but whereas gaussian it is working perfectly and median filter you may feel it more clear even than the gaussian filter so median filter is working little bit better so among these techniques you can go with only median filter you don't need to go with gaussian filter and bilateral together now uh, when it comes to contract enhancement in contract enhancement again it will improve the quality of the image it will uh, be highlighting the regions it will be making the image more clear visually clear so how it is doing actually histogram uh, equalization you see this is a original image image and this is a histogram equalization image so here you can see the regions are more made as you know, more darker so if you compare original with the histogram equalized image you can able to see those differences the same way clay is again one of the type of histogram equalization so here you see which is again more similar to original but it is having more clear region of interest highlighted okay so this is a way of getting our images uh, more clearly highlighted using the histogram equalization techniques so all uh, now first one makes almost all the data more darker the clay will make background a uh, little bit blurred little bit darker not much darker but front it will try to highlight that it will try to make it shining it will try to uh, make it look good more visible region of interest will be more visible in the case of clay you can go with uh, better clay or you can go with histogram equalization technique also but better go with the clay now the next uh, type of techniques will be image uh, smoothening uh, techniques so among them average filter that's box filter what we call unsharp masking and eye pass filters 
so when we apply on our image uh, before that we go with edge deta detection first okay under edge detection there are techniques like show bell fit or can edge detector and LOG among them uh, we'll see okay which is better now you see this is x sobel and y sobel so here in sobel filter the whole image will be in gray scale almost but edges will be highlighted here here you can see the edges made as a bit shiny the whole bodies will be now gray scale there is no much difference in the color of their uh, entire body but edges makes a lot of difference in sobel filter and after that canny edge detector because these are edge detection so in sobel making everything gray and edges highlighting will always uh, give us the better view over the region actually these techniques are more impactful when uh, your classification of image is shape based for example if you are classifying uh, uh, mango leaf with banana leaf the shape matters a lot so in that case sobel canny edge detector they are more impactful so if you under canny the whole uh, the whole data will be now entirely black yet this will be entirely white and uh, you can inverse this okay you can make the black into white and uh, white lines into entirely black black it depends okay you can even make it as a red now after that a morphological uh, sorry uh, image smoothing and sharpening uh, filters and how they are working and uh, which one is best we will uh, see that also you can see here this is a original image and this is average filter in average filter almost the whole image is blurred but whereas in unsharp masking actually this smoothing filters nothing but they are indirectly blurring filter they work like that little bit like that so in uh, unsharp uh, masking you can see uh, here the regions are become little bit sharp maybe edges you can say even when you see the edges they are little bit darker then comes high pass filter so when you apply high pass filter over the image region of interest that is uh, cancerous cells cancerous cells are uh, cancerous cells are most highlighted okay but the remaining parts are little bit light color but whereas the region of interest are well highlighted with some dots and very good edges so if you go with eye pass filter it would be a better choice and again eye pass filter when you concentrate uh, more on shape related if you go for eye pass filter would be better but here uh, you can go uh, with unsharp masking so this is that now so now when it comes to morphological operations uh, especially erosion dilation opening and closing how they are impacting on our result you can see here okay uh, first one is erosion in erosion actually it will uh, increase the size of the elements in dilation it will uh, it will reduce the size okay it will swell Okay. the uh, objects in the images will swell in opening and closing it is almost the same way okay you can even see uh, those results how they are changing accordingly after this the next uh, type of pre-processing is that we are going to apply normalization technique so when we apply normalization over the given images the normalized image will be mainly it will be having a reducted size a reduced size because you are going to implement you are going to apply uh, to uh, like divide each pixel by the highest pixel value so then the normalization of each pixel will happen so that will lead to the reduced image size so by reducing the image size you can make a uh, model to run on more data and it will be giving us good results then uh, this special filter that is NLM filter we are going to apply and the NLM filter almost uh, work like on a blur filter and it will be different equations and everything will be different uh, here you can see if there is a uh, the difference uh, between the background and the front that is uh, background cells 
and the uh, most important cell that is cancerous cells is differentiated clearly there is no shining uh, part in the given image so all these filters each filter is uh, each filter is having its own importance in the process so that's why we are using them to make our model better differentiation over the data and learn better and get better training accuracy less loss and better uh, f1 score precision score and recall scores now the last part is that different models now we are using three different models one is mobile net these three are transfer learning models because our concentration was transfer learning models and uh, if you don't know about transfer learning model i can introduce them with the basic uh, concept for example there is a, a boy uh, a and there is a boy b now person a the boy a don't know anything about martial art whereas person b know about karate okay now the thing is you you need to train both of them for only one week for kung fu now who you will think learn better it is almost b because b may not know kung fu but he know karate he can use those karate technique manipulate them and he can learn kung fu faster and better than a so that's what you are transfer learning this knowledge of a b and you are training him for what you need the same thing happen here actually whatever the mobile net which is 16 resident 50 we are using they are trained on image net to classify dog cat table chair tv like that uh, around so many classes thousand classes are like that so now we call them here we use their old knowledge we will train them how to classify uh, the different blood cancer is okay now what will happen is they will be learning faster and better than the normal CNN and MNNs as well as normal hybrid machine learning models so you can see here this is my mobile net model mobile net model only I am training for 10 epochs if you are uh, doing your own CNN models you need to train for longer epochs and even you may not get better accuracy so here for uh, mobile net you are getting 97% training accuracy and 94% for testing accuracy as well as when it comes to VGC 16 you are getting 99.53 for training accuracy and 96.77 for testing accuracy and when you go for ResNet 50, your result is far better 99.88 and 97.67 Now as you know each model will be validated not only based on the accuracy and losses You need classification report to be generated So you can see your graphs are there Ok So these are most important parameters for any classification models Deep learning models So mainly you need to concentrate on the f1 scores of them so f1 score recall score precision score our values are 94 average f1 score is most important parameter among all of them 94 percent and vgg 16 it will be giving around 97 percent here you can see average average f1 score okay there are already all the scores are available in front of you but average f1 score i am uh, taking as most most important parameter among all of them and here you can see finally the f1 score for resnet 50 is 98 percent so we are getting lot 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 better results and now the remaining thing is demonstration of the model that we built actually this uh, front end is designed with the help of html and css and its back end is designed with the help of flask now what we will do is uh, this is a website where we are adding all those details you can see all the accuracy graphs loss graphs okay what is the confusion matrix and uh, classification report we are getting for the model and also we are giving some information what is a blood cancer okay and uh, we uh, we are trying to give what are the different treatment possibilities are available and finally some news about the present uh, skin can uh, present blood cancer problem now you can click on use blood cancer detection here in this part you need to upload the image of the blood cancer so let me upload first uh, prostase some prostase image i will be uploading now i can give any patient id let me give 546 patient name
and the date the uh, report will be generated the date of report generation that is today almost today okay now click on the predict now you need to get what the class belongs to so this is our present work again here we always accept some good ideas from your side also you may ask us for uh, some extra information to be displayed instead of pro maybe displaying the uh, resulted image maybe uh, displaying the all filter images here itself in the website itself whatever we are doing in the notebook uh, maybe uh, we can say what if the pro level is there uh, you can give us give uh, maybe doctor number hospital hospital contact number or do something like that we are planning to improve like that but it depends on the uh, requirement of you so what you require you can mention us whether you want that part to be included if you want us to include we even try to include those things so we, as you can see here this is our data set and uh, our final app is coded with python mainly python and uh, for front end it is html css for back end it is completely python and that python we are using because we are using flask framework for the back end so this this is the code this is a front end code that you can uh, this is a back end code of app.py okay, it looks little bit smaller but it is having more called functions we are calling some other function from external because we will be uh, calling the saved model whatever we trained here in the notebook files whatever we train we save it here in the end okay we load that model here you can see huh? we save them dot h5 file we save this we load there then we uh, feed whatever image you give you upload that would be feeded to this loaded model then the prediction will be done for this we will almost select the best one in the front end normally that is resnet 50 so resnet 50 is giving lot better 99 percent accuracy so we are taking this model we are going to load there and we are going to test it we are going to give your uh, user input to that model and we are going to get the result so if you are new to our channel we actually smart AI technologists will be providing all these project supports maybe it will uh, it will be having from uh, writing codes to giving you the documentation for your report ppt even uh, the documentation that we, we provide will be helpful for you to uh, publish a paper so and uh, we charge accordingly for subjects and uh, subject oriented and how much time it will take what are the technology you are using all those things according to that only we will charge okay if you want more topics and uh, more uh, titles or more videos you can visit to our channel there are so many videos with good titles and all of them are almost iterically based and we have uh, also free videos on uh, data analysis data science so you can watch them okay once uh, you can watch uh, them and uh, you will be getting the free knowledge on that because there are so many concepts around 100 videos more than 100 videos we published uh, around 80 uh, videos are there which is which are completely free so you, you are having so much of content freely available you can just check it once okay this is all about uh, the uh, current video ne next we will come up with uh, some good idea thank you thank you very much don't uh, forget to like and subscribe our channel thank you thank you very much